Hello, Internet, and welcome back to the exciting world of Fallout 1. In the last episode, we did some exploring in the hub, took care of a couple missions there, and now I've decided to explore this green circle in the middle of blackness here. So let's go see what this is, because I think it's a glow, and if it's a glow, that's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. That is might not be good. A group of small group attack. And by small group, that is a pair. Okay. Oh, am I out of ammo? Is that what's going on here? What are you, 88%? 95. Ka blam blam Yeah, <laughs> come here, let me do that to you, and then I run. Goodbye. That was actually a pretty easy encounter. Ooh, what is this? Small energy cell? Okay. Oh, that's what I forgot to do, son of a monkey. I'm gonna have to sell stuff. Uh. Nope, okay. Son of a bitch. Hey, I'm glad you're here. I need to talk to you some more again. <laughs> Just like at the last, of, at the end of the last episode, I need to give you more crap because I'm stupid and I forgot to freaking sell some of the stuff that I already have. That's a good trade, of course it is, because I'm like I told you, I'm master, master trader, dude. And I'm gonna have to go back to freaking the hub just to sell crap. Look over this dead guy's body. All he had was a 10 millimeter pistol. Wow. Okay. All right. His buddy was freaking well equipped. What is that? Trash. Some broken pieces of glass and other ruined pieces of junk. Okay, so nothing of great import. So I will be back once I sell some stuff. Look, everybody. This is what they call a random encounter. What can I do for you? Who are you? The name's Vance. And that's all you need to know. Can I get you anything? How should I know if you don't tell me what you're selling? If you don't know already, you shouldn't be here. Now leave. Alright, well, barter any. We'll barter before I just say I'm going fucking. Ooh! Oh, really? Psycho? Buff out? Mentats? Uh, antidote, first aid kit, rat away. <sighs> it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I've got plenty of stuff to compensate for that. Maybe not on me, so, uh, actually, okay, I'll leave. I know what I want now. Um, hey, yeah. <gasps> like, what the fuck just happened? What the fuck just happened? Alright, now let me try talking to Vance again. What can I do for you? A birder. Perfect. Perfect. Offer. That's a good trade. Yes, it is. Told you. Master trader here. Never mind, bye. Okay, okay, I'm leaving. <laughs> I thought I'd say, better not stick me in a fucking loop, I swear to god. Alright. Let's go in this building, because I think, yeah, that's the building I want. Come on, Tycho, hurry up. Tycho. 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 Alright, I need to barter with him some more. Because I need more stuff. The rifle is pretty much his. Alright, well, I guess he'll just be using that shotgun now. Son of a bitch, I'm gonna have to fucking kill him. At some point. Wait, 
like try the gun runners over in the boneyard. They'll probably have something to suit your needs. Heard the brothers of steel packs some pretty power bro too. Nice. That's good to know. I didn't mean to do that. Alright. Barter. 237. Again. Almost four away. That's okay. It's okay. Offer. Done. That's what I wanted. Nope, just looking around. Now we go inventory. Take that armor off. Replace it with even better armor. Yeah, buddy. Alright, but now I need my fucking ammo back from fucking jerkwad. So, this is what I will do. And we just go 8-0. Done. Offer. So that way I have ammo and I have freaking money. I have better armor. And I'm pretty much done here now. Finally. Thank God. Okay. Now that I'm finally done there, let's see what's in the boneyard. This is the boneyard. This isn't actually where I wanted to go, but that's okay. Whoa, you better put your weapon away while you're here. Done. Do that. Done. This is Boneyard, huh? Alright. Hey, you look different than everybody else. Watch yourself. All kinds of movement down here. Stop moving. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out who you people are. There's a door open here. Let's go, we're watching you. Good day, what can I do for you? May I ask your name? Why, everyone just calls me Smitty. Probably because I'm the local blacksmith. Can I ask you a few questions? Ask away. Where did you get all of your shop equipment? Why, any competent blacksmith can make his own anvil, of course. I really just sort of learned the craft by practice, but I made most of my own tools. What all do you make here? Mostly I repair tools and implement and implements here. I also fix things from the hub merchants, with the help from Miles, chemist. I reload bullets from time to time. Can you make guns and bullets? Well, building guns and making shells takes m machining, and I don't have the tools for that. But with the help of Miles, the chemist, I can reload old brass since I can, since I can cast bullets. Let's see what you got for bartering. Even though I don't have much fucking money, because some jackass fucking got all my shit. It's okay. All right. You don't have much. You see Lorraine, a scav from uh, uh, Adlum. Adlum? I don't know. Adlum. I don't know. Hi. Are you new here? Yeah, can you fill me in a little? I suppose, what do you need to know? Care to give me a little information about the Boneyard? This used to be a big city called Los Angeles. But the bombs hit really... Uh, but the bombs hit really hard. Now they're just the Angels Boneyard. We ad ad towners are just trying to survive in the wreckage. Tell me more about Los Angeles. Lots of people lived here, from what I hear. Uh, the survivors had hid in a big place called a vault and came out years later. Some of them s started the regulators and then founded Adlam, while the others formed the blades. The gun runners aren't from here originally. Where is this vault? Well, supposedly, it's somewhere south of here, but I don't know, really. I think everyone left because it was broken. Can I ask you some more questions? What's the deal with the regulators? They keep the peace around here, all the con all can and control all the money coming in and out. The rest of the people here pretty much work for the regulators, and that ain't the most forgiving jobs. Many of them don't ever see beyond the fence that surrounds this place. Very nasty. Can I ask you some other things? Where are the gun runners from? Not sure really. I think they came from somewhere up north from here. 
tell me about the other residents. Oh, wow. I... Alright, uh, what do you want to know? John Zimmerman. Zimmerman watches over the town. He makes sure that everyone gets fed and that everybody has a job to do. Caleb is the leader of the Regulators. It's his job to protect Oslem. He seems to enjoy it a little more than he should. Miles? Ah, our resident chemist. Miles makes bullets. He also built a water distiller that makes sure we get clean water from the well. He's working on an underground farm right now, but he's missing some parts. Okay, so that might be something I need to do. What about Tyne? Tyne runs the shop. It's the bunker near the gate. He trades with the hub merchants for us. And Smitty? Hmm, Smitty's a tinkerer of sorts. He's good at repair work. He casts bullets and fixes broken stuff around town. And nobody. Nice talking to you. Wait, I didn't ask her what she does. What do you do for a living? I'm Scav. I work with Samuel to collect stuff from the ruins so that we can use it to build or trade. Why doesn't everybody here do that? Well, you got the death claws out. Well, you got the death claws out there. Plus the regulators take a percentage off the top. Plus some of the protection, some for protection here. Guess people don't have the upfront cash or the guts to stare a death claw in the eye. How do you avoid the death claws? We only scavenge after dark, and we're pretty, we're very good at what we do. Samuel's got a little test that he likes to throw out at people before he lets them become scavs. What's the test? Samuel has has the person hide somewhere within Adlam during the day. If he can, can't find the student within an hour, then he lets the person join the scavenger, the next scavenger party. Seems to work. You're still alive. Yes, although it can be rough. It's very dangerous, especially if you're caught. No doubt. Uh, can I ask you something else? Who are you? I'm the rain. Good to know. I'm pink. Barter first. See if you have anything for bartering. I like to check people to see if they have anything of use. And moving on. Don't believe we've met a Miles. What can I do for you? That smock makes you look like a scientist. What are you studying? I'm a chemist, mostly. Uh, I'm a chemist. Mostly I make primer and powder so that we can reuse the brass casings from bullets. But I also dabble in some other chemicals. Where do you get the sulfur, potassium, nitrate, and other chemicals? It's usually it's unusual to find someone who can appreciate chemistry. But to answer your question, some of the materials we get from the hub merchants, others I manufacture or just find in the area. For instance, the dung heaps of the Brahmin are a good are a good source, as well as some of the strands of fungus that I have cultivated. What other chemicals do you work with? Well, I've been trying to get some strong acids so that I so that Smithy can use them for etching. I also have been trying to make some permanent dyes and inks. Without access to natural inks, it's difficult. So you make bullets for Oddman. Yes, although Smithy is the one who actually casts them, the bullets, I just refill the brass casings. But the hub merchants make profit off of you and the town. Yes, well, we have to make a living. Since the hydroponic farms aren't functioning, we have to buy food from the merchants and bullets are the only thing we have to sell. I could try to get parts to fix the hydroponic farms. Really? That would be wonderful! We're just missing a few parts, but I'm sure that if you could scrounge up the right pieces, we could have a self we could be self-sufficient. Samuel might be able to give you some help. Awesome. So that's going to be our mission, I think. That's going to be our little mission. I'm just running all around this town. Double fence. That's that's smart. Double double chain link link fence. I actually think that's very smart. Hello, stranger. May I be of service? I'm getting to know the people of Adlam. I'm called Chuck. Welcome. I'm afraid that most of the people here aren't too forthcoming with strangers, though. Yeah, I noticed. So what's your job, Chuck? Uh, oh yeah, I noticed. People who um, have much to do on a normal day, they do not want their work to be found wanting at the end of the day. Yeah, uh, things do seem a little quiet around here. 
the regulars make sure of that. People um, sometimes suffer because of their strict rule. Rules. I guess so. And you're okay with this? Since I wish to stay here, I accept the regulators as part of that which is Adlon. However, I do what I can to lighten their lives. You do not seem you do not seem to agree with what they do. The regulators protect our interests, and I must respect that. I don't necessarily agree with that view, but I understand it. And I think there's probably more I could uh, probably talk to. I'm looking for a little advice. That works. Chuck pulls out a set of tarot cards. What? Let me consult the cards. Sh Chuck shuffles the cards. Chuck pulls out a card. A picture of a man with a vibro blade and a flag. The Prince of Swords in the north. He must face a powerful fo foe far to the north. Hmm. Thanks for the advice. Good journey, Swanderer. Okay. Just a reminder, this is kind of a blind playthrough, so... Uh, that's why I'm kind of just, like, fumbling through stuff. Fumbling through areas, going, uh, I don't know where I'm going. Who are you? Alright. Who is am you? A middle-aged man in civilian clothing. What do you want? Who are you? I'm John Zimmerman, Mayor. What's it to you? Your guard said you had a job for me. I might. Have you ever dealt with a vicious murdering band of thieves before? <sighs> what is it out here? Is there is there any place in the wasteland that doesn't have gang problems? Uh, you've dealt with gangs before? Uh, you could say that. Good. Then you know how ruthless and bloodthirsty they can be. The blades are the, the worst of them. We're a humble, God-fearing town. That is the only that is only trying to survive. And these, these monsters prey on us. Whisper something under his breath. And their children. Yeah, yeah, that's great. What do you, what's the job entail and what's it worth to you? I'll give you 2,000 caps to kill their leader. I want that bitch's head. You seem to have something personal against her. She had my son kidnapped, tortured, and killed. They left him impaled on a post right outside the gates. Those sick bastards. I'll take the job. Thank the gods. Finally, my son shall be avenged. The Blades camp is to the North Pier. Come back when you've got the job done. You know, I'm curious. I'm probably going to die. What? Somebody's got their own little fucking room down here. Look at that show. Oh, yes, please. Doctor's bag? Is that that's a doctor's bag? Yes, please. Take that. Take that. What's, what's this? Backpack? Fucking take that shit. Fucking take that shit, too. Doopy doop. Climb back up the ladder. Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. Nothing's missing from downstairs. Don't worry. Nothing to see here. Move along. So. The Boneyard is an interesting place so far. So they have a... Blades have a camp just north of here, I guess. So, we will deal with that in the next episode. Because, I know this episode wasn't that exciting. I mean, just pretty much running around, talking to people. I think there, there wasn't even any fighting in this one. Horrible episode. Anyway, um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button under the screen. If you really like it and want to see more, subscribe, and be on the lookout for more. I'm Bing Deadpool, this has been Fallout. And in the next episode, we will start doing a couple quests for the people of the Boneyard. But until then, peace out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Whee! Wah! 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 Fuck you, fatty. Bye.